Hey guys, how's it going? It's no secret that Ayuma Kana is easily one of the most loved characters in Oshinoko. And honestly, you guys are kind of weird for that. I'm not gonna- No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I agree. Ayuma Kana, I think, is the best character in the entire manga. And I want to explore why that is. Why do so many people consider her the best character in the story? So the background and story of Ayuma Kana is pretty simple. She once was a very popular, highly successful child actress. And then eventually she grew into her early teens. And then the acting industry cast her aside almost completely. And that leads us to the present, where Kana is now a senior in high school and is now beginning to take on more jobs steadily, and thus beginning her character arc properly in the story. In the arc that covers the live action adaptation of Sweet Today, we see that Kana is not the same person that she was at all. We clearly see that she has changed into someone who will prioritize the overall production rather than just her own skilled performance. For context, if she acts too well in this project, it'll create a contrast between her and the lesser skilled actors, making the product worse overall. And she explains this is how she adapted to the acting industry. By being super nice, easy to work with, very accommodating, she's been able to hang on by a thread. Because if she remained being like the snobby, arrogant little brat that she was when she was like a super small child, she would have gone abandoned easily. So that arc does a great job of just showing us, here's who Ari Makana is in the present day, here she is. And once we get into the first concert with B. Komachi, that's when we start getting some more insights into Kana's psyche. The three girls, Memcho, Ruby, and Kana, have to decide who's going to be the center of the group. And apparently, Ruby and Memcho's singing abilities are absolute garbage, so it has to go to Kana. <laughs> and throughout this very short arc, we see that Kana is very uneager to play the role of the center. And she constantly talks herself down. She's like, oh no, I can't do this, man. I'm not made for this. What are people gonna think? What are people gonna say? The experience of being burned in the past has clearly burned her pretty badly. And this manifests some pretty major confidence issues with being the one that's supposed to be the center of the stage of the group. So this is the first major low point that Kana experiences in the series. And the way she overcomes this low point is with the support and inspiration from Akua. You know, him cheering on the group in his own gloomy way. With that arc out of the way, we now have a stronger impression of Kana's character and the mental blocks that she's facing. And it's in the 2.5D play arc where we see another strong evolution of Kana as a character. In this arc, it's the same type of issue. Arima Kana is clearly a very strong and skilled actor, but she tends to put herself in the back in terms of priorities for the production. And ultimately, it's her rivalry with Akane and, again, the inspiration from Akua that brings her into the spotlight once again. And through an amazing build-up, Kana is once again able to gain the confidence to give her best performance on stage and not care about being flexible for the sake of the production. And that leads us to Kana's final arc in the story so far, The Scandal. Being put in a very uncomfortable place by overly intrusive paparazzi, Kana finds herself in a super low mental state, wondering if this is like the end of her career. And to me, this arc really shows the culmination of Kana's growth throughout the series. She's no longer this helpless heroine that needs to be saved. She has become a character that can handle the spotlight, handle the pressure, and she pulls herself out of this mental low point, something she would have had to rely on Aqua for in previous arcs. It was at this point where I realized Akasaka is absolutely godlike at writing character development that means something in a story. The reason I call Arima Kana the best character in Oshinoko is pretty simple. She's really the only character that has such a depth of character development in the story. And her character arcs are very well written and have a satisfying payoff. And that's really it. I like all the other characters too, but they just don't compare to Kana. I'm sorry. That's my opinion, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Is she indeed the best character in the story? Tell me what you think. Am I wrong? All that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see y'all later.